up everybody nick lego stava here about to show you even more custom lego sonic characters now right off the bat i'm also gonna say that i have the i want to show everybody a prototype rouge head because i'm the designer of these characters but i am not the manufacturer or distributor of these characters just to let everybody know and give a heads up and I want to give a little more insight into the design process. But we're going to talk about the characters right off the bat. We're going to start with SPO. Okay. I know. I know. I call them the Assassin's Creed guy name in my Jazzware showcase video. Okay. I'm sorry. You know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you forget the name. But here is SPO the Chameleon. Okay. I just got him kind of confused because, you know... He's a ninja, and Ezio from Assassin's Creed. All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. But, yeah, you can see he's got his detailing printed on his arm, chest, his other arm, his legs. He's got his nice shoes with all the detailing. I love this character. It's kind of an underrated Sonic character, in my opinion. Then we have Styx the Badger from Sonic Boom right here. Now these separate pieces, they were initially, this headpiece was all one design initially. They finalize the designs and do different things. That's why Tails, where's, I got another Tails right here. That's why Tails didn't have his hairpiece because in the original design, I had the hairpiece on Tails. You know, the, the piece that goes forward like it's supposed to but they change things in finalizing the design you know whether the machines can't do it or whether it's just some like oversight thing you know there's not the best communication all right because not the same language but yes let's actually focus wow there we go if it actually wants to focus but yeah there's sticks Sonic Boom, leg printing all around, back printing, front printing, arm printing, you know, just trying to get as much detail on these characters as possible. Let's actually, uh, let's shift this. Now I kind of have to hold the camera like that. But let's put Infinite here. Now, Sonic Forces as a game is not very good. I will say that it is not very good. It's not one of my favorites for sure but infinite was definitely a cool looking character now i know that there was a lot of contradictions to his origin in that game like even the dlc for the game they contradicted it directly so <laughs> it's pretty funny but yeah infinite is definitely a cool looking character hopefully in the future they utilize him in a different way in a cooler way but this this turned out literally perfect. Like this is exactly how the 3D print, not 3D print. Oh, oh, speaking of 3D print, there's the prototype rouge head. I guess I'll show that a little earlier than I wanted to. But this is not size or color of it. This was just a prototype print of it. I don't know why this is having such trouble focusing. Very sorry about that. But yeah, there it is. I just do these test prints sometimes just to make sure the model is good before I send it out. You know, that, like I said, this is not representative of size or color that it's going to be, but just the detail to make sure the eyes and everything, like nothing's like messed up. You know, there's going to be all the hair in the back. I just did that to flatten it out on the print bed. But yes, that's what that is kind of looking like. But like I said, not size or color, just the model itself that it was that so here is jet the hawk from sonic riders i kind of wish that some of the the sonic rider characters would do some things outside of the sonic riders games you know i hope they utilize these characters i hope they change his voice because his voice is so annoying ah! like it's it's so annoying in the game but yeah there's jet the hawk course got the printing detail all around just squeezing as much as possible into the characters here's bark the polar bear now the reason i like some of these obscure characters is because of sonic fighters 
So expect more characters from Sonic Fighters, Sonic X. Basically, eventually all the Sonic characters will be made. I don't get to pick the order that these release in either. I just send out the designs and, you know, whenever they, they get to it is when they get to it. But yeah, he's got the boxing gloves from the minifigures line that came out a few years ago. And yeah, an obscure character. Definitely when I get into doing Sonic stop motions, I'm going to make some of these more obscure characters more involved in the story. That's definitely something I want to do. Here is Chaos, the water creature. It never really was said what he was supposed to be. It was just, I always called him Chaos, the water creature. But yeah, there he is. He's got the printed detail of bubbles and other like darker parts of the water to kind of give that effect. I thought about putting the Chaos Emeralds like in him. There might be a future revision version of that. I also will show a revision of Shadow and a few changes to that and a prototype idea in the very early stages for the next iteration of Eggman. So there is Chaos. Here Now, he has two names. He has Knack the Weasel or Fang the Sniper. Now, I always preferred Fang, calling him Fang. And I think he's just another cool, underutilized Sonic character. And he will be called Fang when I get to the stop-motion series that I have planned. And there he is. This headpiece right here was a little bit odd working with it. Actually, I don't even need to hold the camera down. That's good enough. The headpiece right here, I'll actually just show you what that looks like. This peg, I initially planned to have built up with just regular Lego studs, have it just be flat. But I think that this works out better. It's more structurally stable for the hat to then go on to the character. And then the Metal Sonic revision is where they changed up some things from my ideas for them. So the first version of Metal Sonic, where is he at? I got one right up here. This is supposed to be more metally, like, differentiated more from the regular minifigure line. But I want it to be more of the Sonic Heroes head. They didn't end up doing that. The Sonic Heroes Metal Sonic head with the different spikes in it. So that's what this was supposed to be. But the, the upgraded arms, they changed the proportions on as well. Like they, they finalized the design and they changed things from my design. So the, the changes that they made to that kind of made this not necessarily exactly how I wanted it. But it still is an upgrade nonetheless. Especially the legs. are They look more... Metal Sonic-y than just regular minifigure legs. So yeah, not a whole lot of changes, just a few color changes that they made. They made it lighter gray rather than the darker gray. But yeah, that's that. And then Eggman, I wanted to show the, the ideas for Eggman because people were saying that the, the minifigure... Him as a minifigure was a little odd. Like him having the regular body and then having the, the head sculpt. So there's going to be... I'm going to have to change this. I'm going to have to find a way to change something around with the Dumbledore thing. To where that head goes down, like changing the shoulders up. But using this kind of Dumbledore style for Eggman, I think will fit the character better than that. But you could also... Just have a minifigure version of Edman, Edman, Eggman. I don't have the mustache piece from the minifigures line, but if you had that, that would be perfect. This is this is a really old Lego head. I just threw it on here. What a regular minifigure head would look like on the Eggman body here. But yeah, so that's the future plans for Eggman. And then another oversight here is the changes to Shadow now. I'll send them a few different designs. I designed all this stuff in Photoshop. And it looks like they used some different designs on another iteration of Shadow. So it has a different mouth look there. I'm sorry if this keeps unfocusing. I'm trying to use something to where I don't have a 10 minute time limit. So it's like a different camera app on my phone. 
and yeah. And also, the, the printing can't go onto the back of this, like to have the, the red on the hair. So that's something that would have to be painted on after. You know, as much printing is on there is as much printing as you can get, they were saying, with the machines that they use to make these things. So I wish I, I wish I could just make all this stuff in-house. That would be great. I mean, I could 3D print this stuff, but it's just not... 3D printed minifigures is not the way to go, honestly. It's, it's not optimal, but this was just, like I said, a prototype of the Rouge head. So... Yeah, the other changes to Shadow are just pretty minuscule. Just some slight color changes and uh, the change to the chest, hair, and facial expression. So there's that. I guess I'll show a group shot. Well, actually, since I took these off the roof, maybe I can get them up on the roof. But tell me below what characters you would like to see, and I could tell you if there are designs ready for them. Because, like I said, Rouge design is done. Many of the designs are done for the characters. It's just a matter of when they're going to get them into production and when they're going to release them. And I don't have any, any pull on that. So, I mean, other people might even end up with these figures sooner because of their location or whatnot with the mailing system. But... Yes, so I'm not the mass distributor of this. I just design the characters, and I also design a lot of other characters as well, not just the Sonic characters. But I really do love a lot of different things that LEGO just hasn't done. They just haven't done that, and they haven't... And they're probably never going to do it, but you still want these characters to interact with your Lego world. And I, as they're dropping off there, sorry about that. But yeah, tell me below what characters you would like to see and what your favorite so far is. Because there's, um, I believe, 23 now. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24? Did I just count that right? Yeah, 24 already released. Many more designed. Oh, I just got a message from someone. And Mighty the Armadillo is coming up soon, hopefully. <laughs> like I said, I that it's designed and ready to go, but just not released yet. And hopefully they'll eventually do the revision of Tails with the hair on it how it's supposed to be but as for now uh, that's what uh. you get and um also the revision of the the sonic head hasn't made it to i don't i don't know if they've started production on that yet but there you go that's the showcase i love sonic and i love legos so have a great day if you're new watch other videos decide if you want to subscribe have a great one Peace. Bye-bye. Be sure to drop a like.